I want you to even at any time set up a committee that they will come with every representatives headed by your chosen honorable member to come and lead in taking samples from filling stations. Because I must tell you today that all the test certificates that people are busy, you know, floating around, where are the labs? Even if they have the labs, I can tell you they are fake certificates. The real one that you now know that they are right is to take from the filling station and also to come and take also from our production line. Now you will be able to tell Nigerians that this is it. But you know, the, the marketing of a company by a regulator that he's supposed to protect is very, very unfortunate. Thanks so much. Welcome to politics today. I'm your brother, Sir Great. Not too long ago, I was in shock when I saw no other than Dangote, a little Dangote of all people, crying for justice. Dangote is the one that is being oppressed. One man will know that always invests in every government in power. One man will know that had never spoken publicly against any government, had never complained before all these years. Dangote is the one now speaking up concerning injustice. You see, they always tell you, may Nigeria not happen to you. Those who love you and want to wish you well will always tell you, may Nigeria not happen to you. In that case, the impression is deep down that Nigeria is synonymous with gross injustice, lawlessness, criminal wickedness, wicked government policies targeted at destroying whosoever those in power want to destroy. That's why you always hear where we shall telling you, may Nigeria not happen to you. Unfortunately, Nigeria is a perfect example of one powder toothpaste. You always see it in Imo State, in Abia State. They call it Agnes Mama. When Rogers was in power, he associated Agnes Mama to something and said it will get to everybody. Ibeto cried in Nigeria when Nigeria happened to him. Who could have believed that a day will come that God will be the one crying for justice, speaking up concerning the injustice done to him? Who could have believed it? I will now occupy my position as a man of God. It is time for me to prophesy. You see this country called Nigeria? This injustice will go round. I prophesy Tinubu and his children will one day cry for justice in this country called Nigeria. It's not enough. Umiloko, it's my turn. I did this. I made this person president. I made one day, one day. 
Samuel will one day cry for justice. But you are no longer with one day, one day in this country will cry for justice. MC Lumo will one day cry for justice in this country. Fashola will one day cry for justice. In this country called Nigeria. Yes, Omuiki has seen nothing. He will one day cry for justice. You see? When Martin Luther King Jr. told us, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. The woman family did not pay attention to what this man said. May God bless him. Injustice anywhere. Had Dangote known that when Ibedo was crying for justice, that this thing, if nothing urgent is done, it will get to him. He was supposed to speak up and say government policies should not be used to destroy local investors. Dangote was supposed to speak up in favor of Ibedo. He was supposed to speak up and say, government, no, your policy should not run down local investors. You should encourage people to come into Nigeria and invest. You should encourage those of us who are in Nigeria and investing in Nigeria. We have options. We can also go to other countries and invest. Why will government policy frustrate industrialization? Southeast is under siege. Any company operating in Southeast, government policy must be targeted at pulling it down in one way or the other. Tangote cannot claim not to know this thing. Ease of doing business destroyed in Nigeria with military siege. With checkpoints everywhere. Government policy. The evil man is painted black for everything. If those in Lagos cry to big for me, oh, Tinubu, we are hungry. They will say it's the evil man that caused it. It's P2B that asked them to say they are hungry. They are all eating very well. Food is very cheap for those in Lagos. A bag of rice in Lagos is 5,000 naira. A bag of curry, you get it at 2,000 naira. One bag of beans is 3,000 naira. But people be influenced them to say they are hungry. Even when all of them have over 100,000 naira a month to live big, rent is just free for everybody in Lagos. Actually, the Yorubas. So why should they be crying they are hungry? It's p to be that cost it. Because you can't say you are hungry when a bag of rice in Lagos is 5,000. A bag of beans is 3,000. How can you say you are hungry? It's p to be that cost it. Northerners cannot say they are hungry. When yam is everywhere, you don't pay for it. Beans is everywhere. You don't pay for it. Do you need money to buy ram or buy cattle? You don't need money to buy it. It's everywhere. Goat meat everywhere. Chicken everywhere. But P2B is the one that asking them to say they are hungry. As if government have not provided all this. When you hear this narrative of P2B and neighbors, lo and behold, your name is not P2B. Lo and behold, you are not evil. But common sense will not tell you this is injustice. And so you will feel unconcerned. It's Agnes Mama. Nigeria, injustice, it will go around. It will go around. 
I say, who could have believed it that Dangote is crying for justice? If a prophet had prophesied it 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that prophet would be dismissed with a wave of hand. So this man prophesy now that Tinubu will cry for justice. I mean, it, 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 it's meaningless. It, don't, don't take it as anything. How can someone who cry for justice? How can uh, by an honor that one day cry for justice? It's not possible. But don't worry. Lagos as a state will one day cry for justice. In this country called Nigeria, you will see it happen. If we had accepted injustice as a way of life, wait. What will it take us? To be true to whatever we claim to be. If we want to be a nation, let us make the sacrifice to be a nation. We cannot claim to be united. We will know we are shameless liars that have lost every, everything. There's not, nothing about human in us anymore. What, who, who's talking about unity? That's why a northerner will pay $100 million for land in Lagos in the United Nations, Nigeria. One country. So, fight for justice. Whether it's P2P or Ndibo that is being oppressed, fight for justice. Speak up for justice. If you fail to, it will get to you sooner or later. It will go around. Nigeria will happen to every Nigerian woman abroad, except we restructure Nigeria and enthrone justice and make truth part of our lifestyle. Let truth be captured as our way of life. Let us do away with talking. Let us do away with this life of hypocrisy, criminal deceit. You deny the obvious. You look for mirror to look. You are asking for mirror to enable you look at what you are holding in your hand. If that statement are not seen anywhere, have circle fans everywhere, have talks everywhere, area boys everywhere. The capacity to own up and say, no, this is not fair. Stop it. It's not, it's not sin. Because you are not the one who is affected. You feel our consent. Injustice anywhere. Martin Luther King Jr. said, it's a threat to justice everywhere. Be part of this battle to enthrone justice and truth in Nigeria. Subscribe to this channel, share this video, and support this work of God. It's for our common good. That they were trying to scuttle Dangote Refinery, that is not so. Dangote Refinery is still in the pre commissioning stage. It has not been lessened yet. We haven't lessened them yet. They are still in pre commissioning. I think they are about 45% completed, complete, in completion rather. So we cannot rely heavily on one refinery to feed the nation because the Dangote is, Dangote is requesting that we should suspend or stop all importation of petroleum products, especially AGO and JetCaro, and direct all marketers to, to the refinery. That is not good for the nation in terms of energy security, and that is not good for markets because of uh, monopoly. So. In terms of quality, uh, currently the AGO quality in terms of sulfur is the lowest as far as uh, West African requirement of 50 ppm. 
Dangote refinery as well as some modular refineries like uh, Walter Smith's refinery, Arade refinery, they produce between 650 to 1,200 ppm. So in terms of quality, their quality is much, much inferior to the imported 